Hello, everyone. You are warmly welcome to this video learning program produced by Rwanda Polytechnic. I'm Ashime Gilead, a trainer in masonry here at IPRC Chigari. And then we are going to be together in a course of concrete technology and concrete pooling for masonry trade. Now, today's session, I'm going to introduce to you about concrete. So we will talk about what is concrete? What are the materials or the components of concrete? And finally, we will perform a very interesting practical task on concrete. The task will be just to lay down or to make a simple concrete slab element. Now, I hope you are ready to learn and I encourage you to follow carefully, then try to take some notes where necessary. To start, I want you to think about this question. What is concrete in construction? Right. Generally, concrete may be defined as a composite material consisting mainly of, of cement, one component, fine aggregates or sand, coarse aggregates or gravel, and the water, that is concrete. Or simply, we can say that concrete is a mixture of cement aggregate with water. But sometimes additives or admixtures are added in the concrete for different reasons. So what about the materials or the components for making concrete? Here, as you can see, these are the major ingredients or the materials for making concrete. We have the cement. This is the cement powder. And we have water. This is water. So the function of this cement in a concrete is that when the cement powder is mixed with the water, they form a paste. And that paste binds together other materials. That is the function of cement in a concrete. Then we have fine aggregates or sand. This is the sand. This is the sand used in the concrete. And the function of this sand in, in the concrete is just to fill the voids or the space between coarse aggregates. The sand also contributes to the uniform strength of concrete. We have also here coarse aggregates or crushed stones. So the function or the law of these coarse aggregates in a concrete is to provide the strength of concrete. Because generally, aggregates occupies between 60 and 75% of concrete total volume. That is why. We can say that provide like the body of concrete, I mean aggregates. Now, about concrete and about the materials for making concrete, I think it is clear. It's time to go straight to our practical task. Remember, as I said just at the beginning, the task that we are going to perform is to lay a simple concrete slab element. So the slab that we are going to make, of course, as it is seen on the drawing, it is a rectangular RCC slab with dimensions 130 centimeters as length, 110 centimeters as width, and then the depth of the slab is 8 centimeters. So, in order to facilitate our work, we have already made a box flame, this one, down here. So this box flame, it is like a formwork or a mould that will contain our concrete. And inside, as you can see, there is steel reinforcement for slab. So this reinforcement, together with concrete, they will make a reinforced concrete slab. This box 
has the dimensions exactly the same as those of the slab that we are going to make. It has 100 110, 110 centimeters as width. Then it is having it is having 130 centimeters as the length of the slab, and the depth, of course, it is still eight centimeters. This is the framework or a box frame that will contain our slab. Dear learners, to make a such slab, it is a process. It means that there are some operations that are involved. So we are going to follow the steps, step by step. Step number one. Step number one is to wear the necessary personal protective equipment, PPE. That is why. I'm going to put on the necessary protective equipment for doing my work in a safe manner. So they include this helmet for just protecting my head. I have also the safety gloves for protecting my hands. Then I have put on also the strong boots or the safety boots for protecting my feet. That was step number one. Then, step number two, we are going to do the selection of tools and equipment. That is why, as you can see down here, these are some of concrete tools and equipment that we are going to use. They include this spirit level, which is used for leveling, or for taking the levels, either vertical or horizontal levels. We have also mallet. This is the labor mallet. It will help us during the compaction of concrete when compacting on external surface. Then you have a drawer, and this is used just for taking and spreading the concrete all over the surface. Then we have the labor float, and it will be used for floating in order to remove the irregularities and to make a smooth concrete surface. We have also a wooden float. It is also used in floating. Then we have a tape measure. Then this tape measure is used for taking the measurements, just for measuring. And we have, we have the spade, and it will be used for picking the materials, and sometimes it may be used in the mixing of concrete. We have a straight edge, and this straight edge is used for screening operations or for leveling concrete surface. Then we have the wheelbarrow. This is a wheelbarrow. That is used for carrying and transporting concrete. And we have also here the gauge box. This is a gauge box. This gauge box, it is a wooden gauge box. It is a standard one. Then it will be used for measuring the materials of concrete. So this is going to be used for the batching process. Now, we have the concrete Vibrator. This is the concrete vibrator. It is also called a needle vibrator or a poker, and it is used during the compaction of concrete by during the compaction of concrete by vibration. It vibrates internally. Then we have also this concrete mixer. It is an electrical concrete mixer, and this is the mixing drum, and inside you can see the blades. These are the revolving blades. And when the mixer is working, I mean when it is mixing, just it is like this. Now, 
I think about the tools, it is clear. Then we are going to proceed with the batching process, which is the other step. So we are going to perform the batching of concrete. But I think it is better for you to understand first what is batching of concrete. So simply the batching of concrete, it is a process in which the specified quantities of concrete material are measured on the basis of volume or weight. There, you understand that the batching may be done in two methods, the weight batching and the volume batching. So here we are going to adopt the volume batching method. The volume batching method, it is the method that we are going to adopt or we are going to use. So the volume batching, basically, it is the batching done based on volume by using a gauge box. Then the gauge box that we are going to use, it is this one. This is a wooden gauge box. So this gauge box will be used during the batching process for measuring the ingredients for concrete. So it is a standard gauge box with standard internal dimensions, which means, which means 30, which means 30 centimeters this side, and also, and also 30 centimeters this side, then the depth of this gauge box, it is, it is 40 centimeters. Yes, 40 centimeters. It is a standard gauge box. But before we continue with the batching process, I think it is better first to think about the mixing ratio, the ratio or the mix proportion that we are going to adopt. Because we are going to lay a simple concrete slab element, it is better to use the ratio one to four, whereby one means one part of cement, two means two parts of sand, and the four represents four parts of coarse aggregates. But depending on the size of our slab, or depending on the size of the slab that we are going to make, I think it is better to perform some simple calculations in order to determine the quantities that we are going to put in the gauge box. So this is the slab that we are going to make. So the length is equal to 130 centimeters. Then the width is equal to 110. And the depth or the height of the slab is eight centimeters. Now, when we try to convert the centimeters in meters, we get 1.3 meter as length, 1.1 meter as width, and 0.08 as the depth of the slab. These are the dimensions of our slab. Then, in order to find out the volume of that slab, we are going to take the length times the width, then times the height, which means that we are going to take 1.3 times 1.1 times 0.08 meter cube. This gives 0 0.1144 meter cube. This is the volume of the slab. Then it is better also to find out the volume of dry concrete so that we may get a way of finding the quantity of materials. So let us Calculate the volume of dry materials or the volume of dry concrete. The volume of dry concrete will be equal to the volume we have obtained here, 0 0.1144 times 
0.54. This one, 0.54, it is just a coefficient which help us to determine the volume of dry concrete. Then, it is equal to 0 0.17176 meter cube. Then, remember as I said, the ratio that we are going to respect is 1, 2, 4. This is the ratio that we are going to respect during the mixing. So if we try to do the summation of this ratio, this will give 1 plus 2 plus 4, which, which is equal to 7. This is the total ratio. So with this total ratio, it will be easy to find out the quantity of cement that we are going to put in the gauge box. So let us try to determine the cement to be used. So the cement will be one, this one, which is one part of cement, times the volume of dry concrete, 0 0.176 over 7. And the 7 here, it is the total ratio. So this will give 0 0.025 meter cube of cement. In order to get the sand, we are going to take these two from the mixing ratio, these two as two parts of sand, times the dry concrete, 0 0.176 over the total ratio, and this will give 0 0.050 meter cube. Then finally, let us try to calculate the quantity of coarse aggregate or the quantity of gravel to be used. So the gravels will be equal to this four from the ratio. And remember, this four represents four parts of coarse aggregate or gravels, four times 0 0.176 over the total ratio. Then this will give 0 0.100 meter cube. Now, these are the quantities of each material that we are going to put in the gauge box. So the cement to put in this gauge box will be equal to 0 0.025 meter cube. Then the sand that we are going to put in the gauge box will be equal to 0 0.050 meter cube. And finally, the cost aggregates or the gravels that we are going to put in the gauge box will be equal to 0 0.100 meter cube. I think at this stage, we already know the quantity of each material to be used before the mixing. So the next station, we shall start the mixing process. Now, thank you for your participation. Stay safe and see you in the next session.